Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Just got this package in the mail. Very excited about this. As you can see by the title, this is one of the new Kershaw Emerson collaboration knives. This is the CQC 6K at, <laughs> pardon our rooster. And <clears throat> these were just made available recently on a couple of websites. I purchased this off of GP Knives. That's Grand Prairie Knives. Most of you know who they are. They're probably my second favorite knife retailer. Uh, only surpassed by Blade HQ. But Blade HQ actually did not have this model in stock. They have a couple of them. The last time I looked, they did not have this particular one in stock. So, um, GP Knives had them. Um, Kershaw Guy had them. Knife Center, I think, had them. But also, they're made available at Blade Show this year, which I unfortunately was not able to go to. I missed seeing you guys. That's, you know, a whole different story. Man, if it's not the train or the dog, it's a dang rooster. There's always some kind of interruption in my videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this, guys. I'm really excited. Uh, this is the second collaboration Kershaw and Emerson have done. The other one, I believe, was only an automatic. I think that was the only other time they ever teamed up. And forgive me, but I can't remember if it was a Emerson that Kershaw collaborated with or if it was a Kershaw that Emerson collaborated with. But, uh, let's stop camera for this. Uh, these are really inexpensive, too, for, I think, what you're going to get. Uh, but here's the box. Very cool. you got the Emerson Skull. I really like their logo. Very cool box. Like I said, this, this is the CQC 6K. Um, if I like it, I will probably be getting a couple of more of these. But for right now, I just wanted to try this one. This one was my favorite. So let me just open it up, guys. All right. It was in the bag. just came right on out. All right, here it is. So you get the black G10. It is not aggressive, as aggressive as the Emerson G10, but what is? <laughs> you get the frame side. So if you ever wanted a frame locking Emerson, here you go. You don't have to go and spend you know three hundred dollars or get a, a, a custom. Centering is pretty good. It is a, a bead blasted finish. I know a lot of people say it's stone wash. A lot of places it's specified as stone wash. But that is a bead blast finish, which I'm not a huge fan of. I may polish that myself. Emerson style clip. I'm pretty sure they ordered these from Emerson. But these have the little skulls on there, which looks really, really cool. Laser etched in there. All of the hardware is taken right out of Emerson. I love it. It is all uh, Phillips head, and then the pivot is a flat head. I love that. I'm so glad they carried that over with the Emerson design. And it has a thumb disc and the patented wave opener. The only other knife other than spider coat to have the licensed wave. So that's very cool. Um, let's just go ahead and open it, guys. I have owned an Emerson before, so I'll be able to tell you what I think about it in comparison. That is why I wanted this one in particular. That gorgeous blade. Oh, man, that looks really good in person. So it's kind of reversed from what Emerson is doing with their knives now, where it has the satin flats and a stone wash grind. See the upper swedge and the main primary cutting it, the main uh, grind, they are, are both stone washed, and it looks outstanding. Whereas Emerson was doing the stone washed flats and just the satin finish grind. Absolutely love the way that looks, and you have the. Emerson logo and uh, skull back here. Kershaw Kai, China. Blade steel on these is 8CR13 MOV. I really like 8CR13 steel. Uh, I find that it, when used correctly, is a really good steel. Uh, the ergonomics are outstanding. It is uh, just like the Emerson that I had. I had the, the Mini Commander, by the way. Uh, the ergonomics are just incredible. Just melts in your hand, just like all the other Emersons that I've held. It's got a little thumb ramp right there for the wave. That's just kind of a built-in, nice little feature you get with Emerson designs. Uh, kind of like Spyderco, because they have the opening hole. You usually always have a nice thumb ramp. See the ergonomics. Full four-finger grip. You have that kind of Emerson point there. Most of their handles come to a point, so you can use them as an improvised striking tool. Um... It comes tip up, left, right hand carry, but from what I've seen, some people were complaining that the screws were not long enough to go on the G10 side. 
You can see you can flick it open. You can't do that with Emerson's. Uh, it still needs to be broken in a little bit. Uh, let's check out the engagement. It has a stainless steel frame lock as opposed to the Emerson Titanium, which wears extremely fast. Um, literally, my Mini Commander I had, I played with it a lot. You guys know. You know, you guys play with knives too. Just from opening and closing it and playing with it, I didn't even wave it open that much. Just from normal playing with it, the locking engagement went from about 10% to almost touching the stainless steel f side. And that was just in about two weeks of owning it. So that's why I sold my Emerson. But the fit and finish, like let's see the, uh, the, scale, the um, frame. There's an ant on my leg. Get off me. <laughs> you guys never know what to, you can expect in my videos, but the frame is nicely finished. All the fit and finish is really good, the inside of the frame. G10 backspacer. I wish it had standoffs like the new Emersons have. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? The detent is pretty good. It feels like an Emerson with the detent. I don't know. I don't think it has the Emerson double detent. No, it doesn't. Um, regular nylon washers in there, just like Emerson. It is smoother than an Emerson. All right, so, so far we have smoother than a real Emerson. Better fit and finish than a real Emerson. And this knife was $100 less than the actual Emerson that I got. Now, no, the steel probably isn't quite as good, and it's not made in the U.S. Um, but from just fiddling around with this knife for the past couple of minutes, I would rather have this than an Emerson any day. Not to offend anyone out there, if, you know, Ernest Emerson is watching this video himself, I don't know if he would, but... I'm not trying to offend anyone if, you know, you love Emerson's. It's just that this is, uh, seems to be a more well-made knife. I love the size of it. It's the perfect EDC size for me. Reverse grip. It feels really good. Just aesthetically, it is beautiful. Which Emerson's look beautiful to me in terms of how they finish their blade. It's just the fit and finish is awful for what you pay. And uh, having the, the lock bar wear in as much as it did so fast is just inexcusable. Uh, no play up and down or side to side, which is, which is good. Uh, the edge ground really nicely. Seems to be very even. Feels rather sharp. Let's see if I can get a uh, paper cut test going on here. Kershaw for a while was really lacking on their edges. Uh, Kershaw was always kind of the standard for me in terms of sharpness out of the box. Uh, but they were lacking for a while. So let's see. Uh, the last couple of Kershaws I had, like the new G10 Cryo was really sharp. And uh, that is razor sharp. There's a little bit of a kink right there in the edge. Let's see if I can feel it. I can feel it a little bit. No nicks or anything, it's just... Actually, it is a tiny little nick in the blade. See right there. Which, uh, you know, that's excusable. It's alright. It's a budget knife. If it was, you know, a real Emerson, I would be complaining. But I could probably fix that on my sharpening system, so that's no big deal. But that's actually the first car shot I ever had that had an edge defect like that. But not a big deal, like I said. I am super, super pleased with this knife. You know, I'll be happy when it breaks in. And it's really smooth. I can do some things to assist in that also. Uh, the centering is pretty good. A little bit over to the left a little bit. I, said, I wish it had standoffs, but that's okay. You got the blade stop there. Looks like it's a rotating stop pin, so that's good. It has that little Emerson hump right there, which I like. You can actually uh, use that for pummeling also. More or less use it like that. One of the things I liked about my Mini Commander I had, lots of striking potential with it. I mentioned in that review also, you could use that tiny little tip right there to possibly punch glass, uh, break out of your car window. Side windows, not windshield. Keep that in mind. Uh, the lock bar, the lock face, is kind of small. 
It's not a huge issue. I like bigger lock faces, more surface area to connect. Just my preference. But yeah, it needs to be broken in just a little bit to make it a little bit more smooth. But it is rather smooth for the price point. Smoother than a real Emerson. So I like that. So it is extremely comfortable. It is beautiful to look at, in my opinion. Um, it should hold an edge very well. Just overall, it's a really sweet knife for the price. Which was, how much did I pay for this? I believe it was 34 $33.95 for the knife, and then $6 shipping. So just six cents, six cents short of $40. So I think it's safe to say under $40. It was $39 after shipping. So that is a really good deal in my opinion. But anyway, guys, this is a really sweet knife. I highly recommend getting a hold of one of these if you can. Um, I'm sure these are going to be very popular. I can, you know, already tell you of a good handful of people that already have this knife and its Tanto variant. But yeah, I uh, I really want to get a couple more of these. They're so cheap, and these are just going to be really, really good EDC slash beater knives for the money. And like I said, they're just very comfortable, nice to look at. You get an Emerson feel without the Emerson price. And you don't have to worry about that V-ground, that uh, chisel ground edge. You get a conventional V-edge with this knife. I'll give you one more quick look before we go and I'll post some pictures on my Instagram of course probably do something different with the thumb stud like I did with my mini commander got a lanyard hole too love the, that they went with the Emerson pocket clips really good design yeah guys really really sweet knife for the price very excited this is going to be an EDC for me for a while. So, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. If you have any questions on the knife, shoot me a comment down below. Don't hesitate to get one of these guys or any of the, any of the new Kershaw-Emerson collabs. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614. Peace.